People have been playing with small balls of stone, clay, or marble since ancient Egyptian and Roman times. Today's marbles are actually made of glass and used for industrial tasks as well as games. Glass is not only inexpensive and durable, but also quite beautiful. Marbles are known around the world for their eye-catching colors, which can be seen here in stunning 360p resolution. To make marbles, this company melts recycled glass and competing companies' marbles in a kiln heated to 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. After 16 hours, they open a door at the bottom of the kiln and the molten glass flows out. A shearing device vigorously thrusts into the stream, forming segments called slugs that become marbles. These slugs fall through a chute, in a similar fashion to if the sun had a bowel movement. The slugs land between spinning metal grooves, which dance them endlessly to exhaust their heat energy, causing their hot-blooded nature to chill out for a bit. It takes 72 hours for the marbles to chill out completely. The colors of the marbles by this point are predetermined. How? Who cares? These channels weed out the marbles that are too big or too small, and organize the ones that are just right for photo ops. More intricate marbles are handmade. This craftsman first preheats some giant contact lenses in a small oven. Then he breaks off a piece of giant chalk. After the materials have melted in a furnace overnight, he gathers some on a steel rod and just starts playing around with it like a toddler. These new glass noodles are controversially used to decorate the clear glass marbles and not used for their intended purpose, to make glass spaghetti to feed the glass giants of Glass Town. Meanwhile, a clump of melted clear glass is put on the end of a rod and rolled over some used lollipop sticks in an effort to promote recycling. These steps are repeated several times until the marble reaches its most ideal shape, an exotic horse dildo. Once it's used up, the marble is then reflattened and rolled onto several glass slivers. After being rolled in the furnace once again, the ends are then crimped and snipped, completing the wizard staff for the craftsman's wizard cosplay. Once the anime convention ends, more layers of clear glass and lollipop sticks are added, reheated and reshaped, to transform the staff into an even more exotic dildo. Several metal and wooden tools are used to really polish that thing. And calipers are used to measure its diameter as sexually as possible. Then he... Oh, okay, wow, fuck this. This script is talking way too much about penises for my taste. I'm gonna have someone else fill in for me on the rest of this one, because I'm out. Peace. Hello, I am the backup narrator. What the fuck are we making today? Oh wow. Marbles. Cool. I really wish I knew how these were made. I have absolutely no idea. This shit is straight up gorgeous though. Wow. Look at how pretty that is. I love it. If only someone could explain what the fuck I'm looking at. Awesome.